Senko AP Physics Experiment Number 19, Force on a Current Carrying Wire. Students will investigate the force exerted on a current carrying wire due to an external magnetic field. Students will sketch the magnetic field lines around a permanent magnet. They will use the right hand rule to show the spatial relationship between the current through a wire and the force exerted on the wire by an external magnetic field. They will determine the force exerted on the wire by the magnetic field and the current in the wire. They will determine the relationship between the force exerted on a wire by an external magnetic field and the length of the wire. The kit includes a magnet channel, resistors, battery holder, five U-shaped copper wires, and a multimeter. Required but not included are an electronic balance and support stands. In this lab activity, students will be investigating the force on a current carrying wire and an external magnetic field. Now in order to do that, we have several different lengths of wire. They're all the same height, but the length of the wire that's going to be going through the magnets can be very, very different. We have a set magnetic block that the wire will fit into, and you'll be holding it there in place with the stand. You place this on a scale, and you can actually measure the downward push or the upward pull of the magnetic field of the wire on the magnets. Now, in order to change the applied voltage on the wire, there are resistors built onto the back. So all you have to do is just change where your connecting wires are connected on the front, and you automatically change the voltage and current through the wire without having to change the power supply settings at all. Here's our setup. We have the magnet on the electronic scale. I zeroed it out, so we'll only be reading the forces due to the magnetic interaction of the wire and the ceramic magnet. I only have one resistor set up, and I'm using two batteries. Uh, you can use anything you want, I'm just using two batteries for this demonstration. So then you could have the students connect the battery and show how it's got a negative force, and then turn it around and show how it has a positive force, because now I'm switching the direction of the current, thereby switching the direction of the induced magnetic field. From this, they can measure the magnetic force on the wire and then do it with a longer wire or with a shorter wire. 